Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy. Uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all your likes and subscribes and shares. I'm going to be doing your Virgo love and relationship reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. For August, first two weeks of August 2017. I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot deck. And I'm also using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Um, this is a general reading, so please take whatever applies to you and leave the rest. And um, please feel free to comment. I love to read your comments. Um, if this does not resonate with you, please watch your moon and rising signs as well. Okay, so let's get started, Virgo. <clears throat> I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards. We're going to go ahead and see what is going on for Virgo in the month of August. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, this could be a couple of things, Virgo. First of all, um, I feel like you're going to be getting a message from someone from your past. Um, this person could be younger than you. I feel like um, maybe even um, somehow related to you. Um, this person, this message may be about something related to money or financial situation. Uh, maybe somebody owed, owed you money or um, you owed them money. Um, but I feel like this message has been a long time coming, okay? So let's see what else the cards say. Get them all in the picture there. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What is going on here? <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to relight my incense there. Sorry, Virgo. It's kind of raining here, and the, I think the wind blew it out, actually. There we go. Okay, Virgo. First card, we have Forgiven and Learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay? So I feel like there's somebody that you need to forgive or that you haven't forgiven yet that you're, um, is, is kind of holding you back right now in your love life. This could be your partner. This could be a past partner that hurt you. Um, this could have something to do with this page of pentacles reverse. This could be the message that you're getting. From someone from your past um, maybe it's someone from your past contacting you but they haven't really apologized yet and you're kind of looking for that apology or needing that apology for closure in order for you to move on in your um, in your love life okay um, also clarifying that I got the Queen of Pentacles okay so this could be a couple of things. The Queen of Pentacles um, is an earth sign. Could be it could be you. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or this could be the partner that you're involved with. Um, this person could be a female, could be a male, but they are very stable, very um, loving, very nurturing. Um, they they make you feel um, at home and um, they're just a really grounded down-to-earth person okay this person has their shit together basically um, so this could be you or this could be someone you're involved with Ooh, storm in here guys sorry I hope that um, you can hear me over the storm um, 
if this is you, I feel like you um, need to forgive somebody else um, that you're involved with, okay? Um, could be this, could be this earth sign, um, and I believe that this person is sorry for what they did, and maybe they're going to be coming to you to ask for forgiveness, um, but yeah, it's, it's best to release that and let that go so you can move on in your, in your love life, okay? So let's see what else we have for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, so this could mean many things. Um, so clarifying that, I got the Empress. Now, typically when I, when I see this card, um, I feel like that this could be the person that you're involved with could be pregnant. Um, you could be pregnant or, um, if you are, maybe that may be something unexpected that you weren't planning on. Um, so just be cautious. Um, also this could be if you're not expecting and, um, not trying to get pregnant, um, just take precautions basically. Um, if that does not apply to you, this could be, um, an issue with your mother, okay, or a mother figure. So like a mother, an aunt, a grandma, some, a female, um, typically a, mat a mature female, okay? So pay attention to the red flags. Maybe this person is interfering in your love life somehow, um, you know, could be a mother-in-law, could be anything along those lines, okay? But it, it also can mean a pregnancy is, um, somebody is pregnant or will be pregnant soon in the, the very near future, okay? So, watch out for that. Last card we have for you, Virgo, is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so, also this goes back to forgiving and learning. If there's someone in your past, um, that you've, that has hurt you, that, you know, has been in a, in a relationship, maybe you haven't been able to let go of this person because there hasn't been proper closure, um, that can affect your, your love life right now and you're not going to be able to um, have a good relationship with your partner if you're not if you if you haven't forgiven your ex okay um, maybe that ex is still around and they still kind of um, tried to talk to you now and again and um, they just kind of keep keep themselves in the back of your mind and that's um, that's an issue for you as well. Okay, so I do feel like there could be some jealousy revolving around this issue. Um, <clears throat> either your ex is jealous of who you're with now, um, or your partner is jealous of this ex of yours, okay? So clarifying that, I got the 10 of wands, all right. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because this card talks about being overburdened. Um, so I don't feel like you, I feel like you're still holding on to this person for some reason. Uh, maybe you have a child with them. Maybe there's a connection with them somehow. But I feel a lot of stress and burden is, is just around this person. Um, and maybe you have to be involved with this person somehow. Like if you do have a child with them. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to let them control your emotions and, um, manipulate you in any way. Cause I feel like, I feel like, um, you could put down these, these burdens, um, but you just choose to hang on to them right now. Okay. So, <clears throat> so Virgo, um, I feel like you're ready to basically put this in the past, okay? It's time to let down, let go of all these burdens, release your ex, 
um, and maybe they haven't asked for forgiveness and that's what's, you know, making it difficult for you to move on. But um, even if they haven't asked, it, it's going to be beneficial for you to forgive them. Um, and that's just going to, that's just going to help you um, be able to focus on new love and new relationships. And um, we don't want this, we don't want to carry this burden anymore because it's not fun. And as you can see, this person is so blinded by, by what he's carrying that he can't even see where he's going. So you feel like maybe you're kind of lost and, you know, stuck and you don't know which direction to go. So I really feel heavy, heavy burden here around you. Um, so I, I just, it's okay to let go. It's okay to let go of this person. Okay. And, and forgive them. And even maybe if they didn't ask, maybe they don't deserve it, but it's okay to let go and forgive them. And and move on with your life and and that will bring you happiness and love okay so yeah some some difficult energy around you right now Virgo but um I'm feeling like you're ready to let this go and I feel like <clears throat> within the next two weeks by the next reading we do I feel like this is gonna be gone so um good luck with that all right that's your reading Virgo Thank you so much. If you would like a personal reading, um, I will leave the um, info, my contact info down in the description box. And please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much. And I uh, will see you in two weeks.